Hey everybody, this is my waterfall tank. That is Squeaker over there taking a nap on the floor, maybe taking a bath, I'm not sure which. Yeah, it looks like he's taking a bath. So I'm going to be working on my waterfall tank today. I'm starting to tear out the old plants and I need to get my arrowhead plant in order right here. It's got aphids all over it and I'm going to be treating for the aphids today and I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Uh, I've mentioned aphids on this tank before and I've had a lot of people over the years or months or whatever suggest that I use pyrethrins as a safe natural way to control the aphids and while pyrethrins do control aphids very well pyrethrins are very very toxic to aquatic life so don't ever use any kind of pyrethrin or pyrethrum or pyrethroid based insecticide near your aquariums even a little bit of overspray or dripping uh, down into the tank can be lethal for your fish pyrethrins are very very toxic to aquatic life so if i understand it correctly the pyrethrins are derived from the chrysanthemum flower and the difference in the names that you're going to hear uh, is pyrethrum is the sort of bulk material that's taken from the plant and it contains the pyrethrins. The pyrethrins are your actual chemical compounds that affect the nervous system of the insects. It's non-toxic, but it simply disrupts their sodium channels and their nervous systems go haywire and it basically causes them to run around in circles until they die and so on and so forth. Muscle spasms, that sort of thing. It's probably not a very uh, pleasant way to go for the insect, but it's harmless to people and animals, birds, mammals, that sort of stuff. It has no impact whatsoever. It's just a plant-based um, chemical compound. It is very, very toxic to aquatic life, however. So pyrethroids, uh, you will probably see less frequently, and pyrethroids are man-made synthetic pyrethrin compounds. So it's basically just, you know, pyrethrins made in a lab are going to be called pyrethroid. So typically you're going to see that. You may see pyrethrum if you see any of it, don't use it near your aquariums because it's very, very toxic to aquatic life. And keep that in mind if you've got any water features, goldfish ponds, uh, or anything like that outside in the summertime. If you're spraying on a breezy day or something, remember, don't get it near your aquatic life. So there's my quick tip for today. Keep your pyrethrins away from your aquatic life. Uh, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss anything I got coming up. I will be working on this waterfall tank here in the very near future, so look forward to some updates on that. So thanks again. I'll see you real soon.